Dear waves, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies, including cystic disease of the kidneys, oligohydromnias, sluggish fetus, and a large uterine mass. You can see the placenta and the mass in the uterus. This is placenta and this is the mass. This is quite a large mass. This is the uterine mass and it measures about 6.9 cm into 6.8 cm, quite a large mass. The mass is round to oval in shape and is semi-solid to solid in consistency. Now you will see the polycystic kidney disease and this is an inherited disorder in which clusters of cysts develop primarily within the kidneys causing the kidneys to enlarge and lose function over time. Cysts are non-cancerous non -cancerous round sacs containing fluid. The cysts vary in size and they can grow very large. The blood flow, quite a rich blood flow is seen in the uterine mass. Now you are going to see both the kidneys, both the cystic kidneys. In the absence of associated abnormalities, the vast majority of cysts will disappear during pregnancy without any sequel. Given the transit nature of the most fetal simple renal cysts detected in early pregnancy, it is possible that these cysts represent a distinct entirety within the spectrum of the cystic kidney diseases. Now another thing you have, must have been noticed is that in this fetus the lack and the lack of amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid is very scanty. This is called oligohydromnios that is, it is low level of amniotic fluid during pregnancy. It is defined by an amniotic fluid index that is below the fifth centile for the gestational age and it, and it is thought to affect approximately 4.5% of the term pregnancies. Now the signs and symptoms of the oligohydromnios includes leaking of the amniotic fluid low amniotic fluid on an ultrasound, measurements of size smaller than what is normal for gestational age, low maternal weight gain, pre-labor pre rupture of membranes, abdominal discomfort, sudden drop in fetal heart rate. Now this you can see the amniotic fluid is very scanty. The rupture of the uh, later stage pregnancies that experience low amniotic fluid can cause complications during labor and birth and are most often treated through the delivery of the baby. Rupture of the membrane is the most common cause of oligohydromnias. However, because the amniotic fluid is primarily fetal urine in the later half of pregnancy, the absence of fetal urine production or a blockage in the fetus urinary tract can also result in oligohydromnias. The fetal movements are very sluggish in this case and the normal fetus is active and capable of physical movements and goes through the periods of both rest and sleep. The majority of the women perceive fetal movements. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.